Hi guys, this is Christian from swimtofly.com. Today we're going to learn how to tread water and to stabilize your body on the surface. Many people are asking for this video since many months, so I'm going to make it. So remember before you start to tread water, go where it's comfortable, where it's shallow. You don't need to go where it's deep. No pressure, it's very easy. And remember, every time you move in the water, you have an opposite action from the water. For example, if I push my hand this way, I will have the water pushing my hand this way, so means my body will move the other way. If I push my hand down, my body will go up. If I push my hands up, my body will go down. If I push on the right, I will move on the left. If I push on the left, I will move on the right. It's always reaction. You have to use your hand to feel the power of the water inside your hands. The first thing is to learn how to feel the power of the water in your hand. Start to feel. For example, I fall forward, I want to move back, I will push and then I move. I fall behind, I will pull the water to don't fall. Try to feel it. I'm here, I fall, pull and you will come back. You fall forward, push behind, okay? You push, you move this way, you pull, you move this way, you press down, you move up and vice versa, all right? So when you tread water, you can do it only with your legs, with your hands first, sorry. You don't even need your legs, so imagine you are sitting in the water, put the head close to the water, no need to go high. It's very hard to tread water when you have the water above your chest here. Just very close to your neck is fine. And avoid to have big movement like this. Stabilize your body. You are here, start to use your hand in the water. One by one, you press the water and your legs, just imagine you are biking inside the water, sitting or biking, don't move your legs much. I'm just using my hand. Maintain your head outside the water, on the surface of the water. Try to not get my face to you. Be careful the camera. All right, look at my legs a little bit. I'm just moving with my legs. My hands are stabilizing. So basically the movement is just one by one, one by one, to be like this. Now you can use your legs as well. So if you want to use your legs, it's very simple. It looks like a brace stroke kick. You can use the brace stroke kick, you know the frog kick, where I'm like this. I kick on the side and I close, that's a brace stroke kick, right? But for the trading water, you can do it one after one, after one, after one. Instead of double kick, do one by one. Actually, the both option works. You can do double kick or you can do the one by one. But the one by one is usually more effective. So let's see how it looks like. I'm in the water, stabilize myself, touching the ground, use my hand and start to kick one by one with your feet, pushing the water. Sit in the water and push one by one. As you can see, my hands are moving to stabilize myself and I push one by one. You can stay like this many, many, many times. Or, for those people, they prefer the breast through kick. It's more tiring, but you can also try. Double kick together. And then you maintain, okay? So your legs are pushing down, your hands are stabilizing on the side, and your head stays above the surface, near to the water, okay? The more you go up, the more it is hard to maintain your body outside. Accept to be close to the water, they will be very easy. Make a try and let us know your feedback. Thank you.